Hi everyone, this is Cherry Enchantress, and I'm here with Pixie Dust Tarot, and this is your daily dust for Monday, December 5th, if you're watching in real time. But it also is for whenever you stumble upon it. I do do this reading usually a day ahead of time, and I am gearing up for Christmas doing silver and gold theme here. So trying to find every deck I have that's edged in either silver or gold. And we have this Star Child Tarot, which is a beautiful, beautiful deck. And it's it's this dusty gold. I still don't have any decks, and I'm I thought I ordered one, but well. It didn't turn out to be golden edged, so I'm still looking for a glassy gold, and I will find it. Let's get this a good shuffle. I might end up having to use the the gold foiled cards too, the gold on top. Because I'm pretty sure I don't have that many decks to me. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how far we get. Alright, that was pretty good. Let's see what we're getting for today. Wait, we've got the High Priestess. Very good. I think we had High Priestess yesterday. So kind of a continuation. I kind of like it when the cards continue, like the days continue one after another. So it's been about three days in a row where I feel like we've had... Um, a theme that keeps moving over to the next. This is really pretty colors. Some of my favorite colors, to be honest. I could decorate my whole world in aquas and purples and hints of gold. So, hi priestess, that's your intuition coming through. Ooh, the Wheel of Fortune. Well, we've also had the Wheel of Fortune come out a few times this week too. Winning money and being fortunate. And it's like whatever you put into something, you get out. Especially with the Queen of, um, the Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> the High Priestess. Hmm, why did I say Queen of Pentacles? Maybe there's one. And then the Three of Crystals. Wow, really amazing. So let's zoom on in and get a deeper message. This deck is also called the Akashic Tarot. So it's it's the Star Child Akashic Edition. I think there was other editions. Yes, I think so. Anyway, and so this is the Akashic. And also, I feel like there's been some that have borders. I like borderless. I'm attracted to that. That being said, the High Priestess is about connecting to the Akashic Records. She is wisdom, mystery, magic, um, serenity. She's about the secrets, the inner secrets, the mysteries of life, you know, um, those kind of that knowledge that not, you know, only few people, well, I shouldn't say only few, but sometimes it feels that way. Only few people actually tap into that secret knowledge and everybody else is trying to get to it or find it. And some people don't even, you know, like some people don't even find that a priority, but I feel like you are probably a lot like me maybe like a tarot reader or somebody who's a spiritual person or maybe this you know this is the focus in your life the high priestess often has you know the bible and the torah and she has these two towers um the boaz and the joaz and all of these symbols representing knowledge and and from different sources so it's not like you receive your knowledge, you're just, a, you know, you just are fixed in one way, one style, one pattern. You're very open and very receptive to lots of information. The High Priestess has a, a very uh, stimulating, stimulated crown chakra because she's receiving a lot of information. And I was just watching Kino and I was just, she said something about uh, one of the best ways to receive that, that, um, information from the, in the 
towards the crown chakra is uh is is get yourself busy like uh take a walk or a jog or um dance around or um do something physical that kind of helps also i mean other things you know, like singing and dancing sometimes you get right before bed you get downloads sometimes in the shower i get downloads in the shower <laughs> i get downloads in the car a lot too like um the taking long drives kind of gets me very zen and it that's kind of why I like to supplement my you know what I make here what I do here by doing like a little driving job because I actually like driving and something about the road is very zen so and I was a bus driver for 17 years so I had to like it sort of you know and I love kids so it's like you find your zen in certain places you find a place where you actually get downloads and it doesn't necessarily have to be a focused retreat where you're going to meditate or whatever sometimes these downloads just happen in really random places and and I, yeah and oh another thing she was m mentioning sweating and crying <laughs> so you know, when you're exercising, you're sweating, and I feel like that activity of sweat, yeah, definitely helps give give you a real, it sort of like releases everything, and then in comes the downloads, crying, like if you, if you just feel like a lot of, a lot's bottled up, you know, this time of year, it's a festive, happy season, but people have had loss in their life, and, it, and that kind of thing, you know, you get reminded of that, during these times and so sometimes it's just important and good to just have a good cry and after that you'll be surprised how how much spirit wants to you know embrace you and help you and elevate you again and give you insights and maybe lead you you know may you may not be hearing things but you may be led to the right in the right direction so speaking of being led in the right direction i feel like the wheel of fortune represents something like um spiritual downloads guided a guy some kind of guidance towards some kind of uh good luck you know what any part of your life but a lot of times i see it as money right uh maybe you uh maybe this is a, some kind of you could even be seeing numbers for the lottery or something like that you know maybe or a particular day when you have like this little goose bumpy feeling and you're like I feel like I should do this I feel like I'm gonna be lucky then do it take that um, don't ignore that little um, that feeling that's the 4d you know like some of us may may sometimes get glimpses of the 5d but a lot of us if we're spiritual people, well, mostly our spirituality will be in the 4D. It's that realm that, that connects the 3D to the 5D. We have a lot of f future dimensions, but they're kind of hard to fathom and understand, I believe, So, in my opinion. So the, the highest I can go really in my head <laughs> is the 5D. But the 4D is, is great. It's like dreams. It's like intuition. It's... Um, coincidence the things that seem like coincidence which are not and so those are kind of will be kind of like signs for you that come up the wheel of fortune also because it's a wheel represents cycles and seeing you know seeing yourself you know being very self-aware seeing patterns th seeing things that may come up again and how are you going to how are you going to react or act upon the things that come back around you know this could also represent transformation like you're really making some changes in your life good changes and transitioning and having new beginnings and learning very important life lessons and good karma is coming to you i feel like this is good karma like we've got karma and karma is just karma but good karma is like rewards like after after hard work after being very open after listening to spirit spirit wants to reward you and then three crystals looks like the reward it's like money it's a collaboration it's um yeah cooperation <laughs> cooperating co-opt co-opting something you're you're joining with others to create a miracle a masterpiece you're making lots of progress i feel like yeah it's, it's a lot of balance it's like two 
to making a third thing. So sometimes it could represent a couple making a baby. Sometimes it could represent um, one person putting on a, ba a beautiful display of their artwork or their project or their masterpiece, a book, pro whatever the thing is, showing, displaying it to others. And then sometimes it's actually like three or more people coming together like teamwork creating something really great so it could be a great kind of teamwork in your a career in your in your workplace it could be um, a romantic connection that feels very stable and able to create something out of the this connection and this love um, it definitely has to do with skill and originality and determination and artistry it's like proving maybe you don't have to prove it to anyone but you feel like vindicated because you've you've now you've done it you've done this beautiful art you've done this beautiful project it doesn't have to be art like like a painting it could be any kind of effort that creative effort it could be anything and it feels like art to you it could even be 11 11 it could be even like a sacred union a sacred magic that happens now like it's almost like wheel of fortune could be now it's your turn it's your time and this cycle is complete because you've really elevated yourself you and you've done taken all the steps necessary there is going to be a time where you'll learn how to truly let go and There'll be a time how, how you can really truly um, see the big picture and, and have like this expansive eagle eye vision. And then sometimes you'll need the close up vision. I feel like it's also logic versus intuition. Sometimes you'll, you'll, I feel like you're just doing a lot of good balancing. You're balancing both dark and light, logic and intuition, big picture, small picture, um, <laughs> it, you know self self issues where looking at yourself objectively but n not criticizing yourself and all of this work that you've put in it, it can always come back around again where you need to do some a little bit more but I feel like you're reaching a point where you've done a lot and so there's some kind of reward for it some kind of prize some kind of gift from the universe coming through for your skills and your abilities and your beautiful spirituality and I hope you like that faith trust and pixie dust happy holidays